phones. What does that mean? Privacy codes. What does that mean? Well, if you notice here, it says the CTCSS and DCS privacy codes on the ocean box. Midland. They'll just say, you know what? We got privacy codes. BTEC says privacy tones. Beifang just says CTCSS and DCS. What does it mean? What does it stand for? CTCSS. And that's why nobody ever says that anymore because it's you know, a little bit of a mouthful, but it stands for a continuous tone um, coded squelch system. A lot of times people refer to it as tone squelch uh, or just tones. Sometimes people call it a subchannel, but it's kind of a misnomer because it's not an additional channel. DCS is a digital coded squelch system that uh, performs the same function, but it adds more options. You got to think of it as a um, one of two ways. Think of it as a, as a filter that will block out transmissions that you don't want to hear on a certain channel of frequency. Another way to think of it as a key that is needed to get into your radio. The, the way they market it, it makes it sound like yeah, you're securing or making your conversation private and it, it's not doing that in any fashion. Normally if you have a, a radio and you have it just turned to you know, a certain channel and there's no tone set on it, you will hear any transmission on that channel. If you set a tone on your radio to say, you know, I only want to hear using a PL tone of 100. Well, what will happen is you will not hear anything on that channel unless somebody is using that tone of 100 and then that will trigger your radio to open up and receive the transmission. What it's good at doing is blocking out unwanted transmissions. Like you know, if you don't want to hear other people, except for the people in your party, then it's beneficial to set that on everybody's radio to say, okay, we're going to transmit and listen for this particular tone and then we'll hear nothing else. Don't have to be bothered by anybody else. Very good for repeaters to have it set where you have to send this tone that way it doesn't pick up any accidental unwanted transmissions from people and um, it does provide a little bit of security in getting into a repeater where you have to know the tone required to access it. Now some radios can scan a tone and look for it and get into it but you know with a repeater you still need to get you know the owner's permission to use it. And you can also, the tones also can be used um, as a benefit for families if you don't want your children listening to every transmission in the world out there and you'll only want them to hear other family members, then it's good to set that tone so you can you know, block out accidental transmissions from other people. Um, like I said, somebody could try to scan and find your tone and then get in and communicate. You know, it's not a foolproof system. If somebody's wanting to irritate you, then you know, you're gonna have to take other measures to change frequencies or, or just not use the radios or even change to another radio service of some sort, temporarily and wherever you're at, if you have that capability. Some people talk about split tones. What that is, is it allows you to transmit on one, using one tone and to receive via a, a different tone. The benefit I see from using split tones is I can turn off the tones for listening and receiving, and I can just set a tone to get into a particular radio or repeater or whatever. Um, like I have a simplex repeater. I'll show you. Uh, I have it set to only hear for a certain tone and then we'll take that transmission and it will rebroadcast it. Um, I don't want to set it open because then it will be irritating a bunch of people on the frequency. They'll be, they'll hear it themselves and they'll be like, what the heck's going on? This way, that way it prevents people from getting into an accident. Okay, I'm going to use my current favorite Radio to Ocean 805G to show you how, it's, how it works. Like right now I have a uh, simplex repeater on channel 19 and I have it set let's go in and find the uh, real quick find the tones okay here's receive CT CSS and transmit okay so transmits one I have to use to get into the radio so I have it set for 250.3 Hertz okay that's good back out all right, receive. I don't need to have a tone set to hear it, but, and I don't. So it's just a little test. Testing one, two, one, two, three. 
turn another radio off here for a second. Okay, so I got into it and the radio sent back a transmission. Let's go in there and let's change it to another another tone. Okay, we'll set it back up and we'll test one, two, three, four, five. And as you can tell, it did not hear the transmission and it's not going to do anything. Conversely, if I go in and let's just turn it off. No tone. So I'll do no tone, testing with no tone. And as you can tell, it didn't do anything. I will set, go back and set the transmit. Uh, 250.3, hit menu, that sets it. Exit, testing with tone. And then you can see how it comes on. Use a simplex repeater. And the benefit is you can use a little cheap radio like this to get into it also. So I have it set 19. I have it set for uh, what Midland calls um, tone number 38, which corresponds to the 250.3 on here. This is the actual hertz of the tone, and you need a little tone, a little chart to uh, to translate what number corresponds to the tone with the Midland radio. Just the way it is. So we'll we'll test with this and see what it works out. Testing with the Midland one two. So I can, as you can see, it works with the little cheap bubble wrap radios, and you know it's good to save on save on money. So like I said, you know, think of tones as either a, a filter to block to filter out the unwanted signals and, and transmissions from other people or as a key to get into another radio. In GMRS the, the benefits are, are, are pretty good because you only have you know you only have eight repeater channels and you can have overlapping repeaters in in a certain area and you need different tones so you know which repeater you're getting into. And you know privacy somewhat privacy for your family privacy for you know their ears so they're not hearing things that you know you don't want them to hear and hopefully people behave and play nice and don't interfere with with your family because uh, you know inter, inter, you know interference is you know an illegal operation on them but some people do but that's the benefit of using tones it's kind of like privacy for the ears of your people in your group. Have a good day.